Hey there, I'm Dave, the Notion Coach, and today we're taking a quick look at how to create a weekly view using Notion's board feature. Uh, very excited about this one. I don't know about you, but I've wanted a weekly view in Notion for a long time. For some databases, the calendar view is just too much information, and the timeline view, although it might be helpful for things like projects and road mapping, don't quite work the same way for just planning out your week and seeing what you have on deck for that seven day period. We're gonna look at two use cases using an actions or tasks database and looking at a daily log or a daily journal database example. Some big benefits to using weekly view in these examples, um, everything from just planning your week and, and going through that planning and reflection process. The first example we're gonna take a look at is the actions database. So if I open this toggle up here, we've got a typical table view of tasks and associated properties that you might have in a typical task management system like due date, priority level, time estimated, uh, the status of the task or action, any associated projects with those actions, things like that. But we need a few additional properties to be able to get this weekly view to work later on. So we're going to add those here and then go back into this database and create a new view to set up that uh, weekly view. So first up, I'm going to go to this plus button here. We're going to add a formula and I'm going to go ahead and name that day of the week. So we're going to need this just to specify any particular date, for example, January 18th, we want to know and we want to display that that's in fact a Tuesday, for example. So we're going to do that here. Let me scroll over and make this uh, window a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to add in this formula format date. And then talk about what's happening in this formula. Okay, so uh, we've set that up, press enter to accept. We got that done button uh, highlighted as blue, which means that this formula is working. There's no issues or errors. What's, what's happening in this formula? So we're basically telling Notion that the, we want the date to go from specifying January 18th, 2022 to saying the day of the week. And the um, format for that is four D letters. We're going to click done. And now we can see the due dates by the day of the week. So uh, this is a critical part of setting up that weekly view in a board. So we've got step one done. Now what we're going to do is add an additional formula to basically let us know if this due date is happening within this week or if it's not within this week. So it's a, it's a basic version of this formula, but you can get really a lot more detailed into this. You can specify whether something's next week or um, beyond that, and you can really get into a lot more detail. But for this example, we're just gonna go into set, specifying a formula that's uh, telling us whether this action is happening this week or not. So let's get into that one next. I'm gonna create a new formula here. And uh, I've got a formula. We're going to call this this week with a question mark. And go to, to edit formula. And let's add in the formula here. Format date. Say due date. We're looking for the week. Dates now. A question mark. And we've got two options to specify either this week or not this week. And let's break down what's happening in this formula. So we've got uh, similar to the previous formula, we are calling the due date, so that specific date, and we're specifically calling W, which is 
the week number of that due date. And the second part of this formula is we are asking, does this due date fall into this current week? So we're comparing that due date's week number to the current week number to basically give us this uh, response, uh, which is one of two options, this week or not this week. So we're going to press done here. And we can see in this case, because we've got a handful of actions, all of these fall within this week. So this is working. Okay, now we're going to set up a board and utilize these two formulas that we just set up and get a this week view uh, organized by day of the week. So let's get into that next. We're going to create a new board. Got one here set up. Um, this is a typical board that you've probably seen before. So you've got a uh, Kanban style where we've got the status of the task and we're moving tasks from one column to another pretty standard, but we want to use this board. And instead of look at the status, we're going to take a look at the days of the week. So we want to do a few things here. First, we go to group instead of grouping by status, we're going to group by that formula. The first one that we just set up day of the week. So if we set this up here, if you're uh, setting up a group via a formula, there's a few added customizations that you can set up to customize how this looks. So first, uh, the default here is alphabetical, but we want the exact name of the day, not just the letter, the first letter of that day, which is what would happen in this example that we just saw. So we've got the exact day. So we see that's starting to work. We've got no day of the week, Friday, Monday, etc. Not quite set up the way we want it because we do need to do a few extra edits to this view. Next thing we're going to do is uh, go to sort and we're going to sort manually. This is going to allow us to drag and drop the columns into the specific places. Notion doesn't know which day comes forward. It's just taking the formula properties or the formula contents and grouping up these tasks. So we've got no day of the week. I'm going to hide that and we're just going to rearrange these days of the week to reflect an actual week. Let's move that over. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it's updating in real time so we can see that this is looking the way we want it, set up as a weekly view. Other things here, if you want, you can color the columns to give it more separation uh, or leave that clear and transparent. So um, as you can see here, we've got a weekly view, but we need to make one more change because if you notice, these due dates are from a little bit all over the place. We've got some from December of last year. We've got some from January. Anything that falls on a Tuesday is going to show up in that column we want to set it up to only show this week. So we want to set up a filter. I'm going to create a new filter that says this week contains X that we set up this week. So what's happening here, just to dive in a little bit deeper, we are calling back that formula that this week with a question mark contains this text this week, which basically means that if that due date falls in within the, this current seven day period, that would be that would fall into this filter that we're setting up. So we're going to put that in there. Actually, we want to make a f one more change that I forgot. This week is instead of contains. Why is that? Because the second option was not this week. So if I were to put contains this week, that wouldn't really filter anything because it still contains those words. So we're going to change this to formula is this week. And now all of a sudden we've got a filtered view days of the week and um, tasks that only fall in within the current week. And just to double check that, we've got uh, these dates, 21st, 22nd, 14th. Got it. Okay, so 
Uh, from here, we're going to turn off some of these additional, uh, just to avoid any confusion, the project due date, I'm gonna turn that off. So now we can see the due date of the action and do a double check 19th, 18th, 17th. This is looking like it's filtered to days of the week and um, the exact due date for this week. Next one we're gonna take a look at is the daily journal or the daily log and setting up a this week view for that as well. All right, so the second example we're gonna take a look at is a daily log or a daily journal. So if we open up this toggle, we've got a daily log database with some days. So each of these lines are pages within a daily log database. And we're also using it to track things like journal entries, uh, meditating, habits that you're tracking on a daily basis, uh, keywords of the day, if you're tracking exercise, um, things that you're reading or consuming, any key events for that day. Uh, but that we'll save that for another video because what we're going to do here is similar to the previous example, we're going to set up a board view using uh, this week as the basis for that view. So we do need to set up a few new um, properties in this database. So the first one is actually, if we go back, if we open up one of these days, we've got a lot of properties that we're covering, but one I want to point to and highlight is this week's database. So this is a related database that's linked. And if you can see, it's got the number of the week, which is also set up on its own weekly database. So why is that useful? If we track our habits and things that we're logging on a daily basis, having a week's database could be helpful for rolling up that data and getting interesting insights into habits, things that you're accomplishing and producing over the course of the week. So if those two databases are tied together, we want to roll up the date property from that week database. So if I set this up as a rollup, we'll call this week date. And I'm going to add a little symbol just to represent that it's a rollup. And we're going to configure this rollup. I'm going to look for the week's database. And what we want to pull in is the day. So we want to show the original days for that week. All right. So if we can see here, we've got um, what week this belongs to. This looks correct because all of these days are from the first week of January. All right. So we've got the week date roll up. And now we want to add a formula very similar to the previous example. And we're going to call this again day of the week. Let's edit this formula and we're going to say format date up date. If you remember from the last example, the four D's represents the day of the week. So that's just a um, just a nomenclature for that. So what we've got in this formula is we are saying, telling ourselves to give ourselves the date and the day of the week. So got that set up. This should be a comma. And now that's blue, so that should work. And if we do a quick check, these days of the week are correct. All right, next we're going to set up that board view here. So let's click add a view, look for board. And if you've got a database like a daily log or journal where you've got days for the entire year set up, this might take a while to load because it's basically loading every single day from the database. So it might take a little bit, uh, but we're gonna get into how to set a filter to kind of turn everything off temporarily and uh, to make those customizations and then turn it back on to see if it's working. So in this case, for example, uh, the board was set up by keywords, which is definitely not what we want. Remember, we want to set up this board as a weekly view so we can see starting from Sunday, ending on Saturday, all the daily logs within this week and seeing those in one place. So now we're going to use those two properties that we set up previously to 
make some filters on this view. So the first thing we want to do is filter by I'm going to look for that roll up that we set up, which was week date. And we're going to say is within the past week. Now, what this is doing is, is calling only the daily logs that are within that week number, in this case, week number three, I believe. Uh, so we should only get seven, uh, seven pages as a result of that. So we've got a few here ranging from January 19th through the 22nd. That looks like it's working okay. The next thing we want to do is set up how we're grouping these daily journals. So we're going to click on group. If you can see here, they're set up by word of the day, which is a tag property. We're going to change this to day of the week. And here, if you're grouping by a formula, you're going to get some added customizations to take a look at. So for example, it's set to default by alphabetical, which we don't want because that's just going to bring in the first letter of the week of the day name. Instead, we want to bring back the exact name. So we have the days of the week. And the second thing we want to change is if we close out of that, we can start to see that that's already working the way we want it, where we have Friday, Monday, Sunday over there. And once we close this out, instead of ordering by alphabetical, we're going to set this to manual so that at the bottom, we can manually toggle or I'm sorry, move up and down, slide where we want these to show up. So we're just going to reorganize these to show up in the right order. And now we've got a view of our daily log database with only this week. And from here, you can customize this to show the contents of the page if you want to turn on or off any properties that you're tracking on a daily basis. But in this example, if you can see, we've got uh, these pages set up. And for example, if I go into showing the page cover, I like to kind of add an image that represents the day. Uh, you can see today is a little bit of a crazy one. And also things like habits, uh, meetings, things I'm reading or consuming, and keywords for that day. And then, for example, the week date property, which is showing up down here, we want to turn that off because that's not really giving us any important information. So let's look for that property. And also the day of the week, since we already organized it by that. So it's a little bit cleaner view at this daily log. So those are two quick examples of how we can set up a weekly view. Very curious to hear if you're using this view or if you're using it for a different purpose. Uh, I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments and hope that was helpful. I'm going to do some more deep diving on this view and see if there's any other uh, scenarios where this makes sense. But 